I thank you. And I now give the floor to International Organization for the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination. Thank you, Madam President. We welcome the oral update by the Special Reporter. It is regrettable that the human rights situation in Eritrea has not significantly improved and basic institutional systems are still not in place. We are greatly concerned with arbitrary detention, enforced disappearances, torture, sexual violence, and the restriction of freedom of expression and association, among other grave human rights violations. These violations only continue to impede Eritreans of their rights to exercise their political and social freedoms, and it further regresses any potential for peace. Furthermore, as in the special reporter's latest reports, numerous serious human rights violations are committed through and by international operations, for example, trafficking of women and girls. In light of this situation, EFORD and Geneva International Center for Justice strongly urges the international community and the East African community to take all necessary measures in accordance with international law towards ending direct or indirect funding of specific groups who threaten the lives of innocent civilians. Madam President, there is a great need to address humanitarian and climate disasters that exacerbates the plight of many, especially children who suffer waterborne diseases and other malnutrition and micronutrient deficiencies. Finally, we would like to ask the special reporter, going beyond legislation, what steps need to be taken in order to involve women in the decision-making processes, particularly in regards to ending gender-based violence against women and girls, and especially those in detention. Thank you, Madam President.